Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Almine and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour gym class challenge and trying to set the world record of the most wins in 24 hours on gym class VR. Now make sure you watch till the end because this video becomes crazy as the hours keep going. So first we need to set some rules for the challenge. First rule is no pubs and no assists. So we're not allowed to play in any public lobbies and we're not allowed to have any assists on. Second rule is the only game mode we're allowed to play is 1v1s, 2v2s and 3v3s. Third rule is you're not allowed to have anyone let you win at all. The fourth rule is you're not allowed to play against any of your friends unless they actually join and actually give you a challenge, then yes. And the last rule is you can't repeatedly play with someone. So if you're in the lobby with someone you don't know, you're not allowed to repeatedly go against them because they may be like either worse or better than you and you're not allowed to constantly go against them. Of course, I'm not going to be able to have all 24 hours of footage in this video, but I will be showing proof. Now, starting off this challenge, I noticed my first floor. My knee feels kind of weird, bro. Every time I'm bending over to shoes, I can feel a pain in my right knee, so this doesn't affect any of my games today. Yes, as you can see, while I was training and practicing, I noticed a little pain in my knee, so I thought this might set me back while doing this challenge. But as the games went by, I realized nothing was wrong with it. Ah, behind the back. Look at that. His <laughs> face, bro. I say. Let's talk about the first hour. The first few games, I was kind of trying to get my shot back because I kind of got bad at shooting. And then I said to everyone in the lobby, I'm trying to do this challenge so I won't be finishing with two point shots because I'm not trying to risk losing just so I can play by the unspoken rule of finish with a two point shot. So I just kept finishing in the paint or shooting mid range shots. But the first hour went great. We move on to the second hour and this is when I got my rhythm. That was, that was shock boost as well. I'm actually surprised that went in. Yep. Easy. I decided to slow my pace down and control the game at my own pace. I didn't want to exhaust myself at all, so I played about 25%. I wasn't going crazy, of course. I was sweating, but I wasn't going crazy at all. I kept it with simple moves. I wasn't doing no 360 dunks or nothing like that. I decided if I want to set this record, I have to play smart. Come on, bro. Oh, threw that in. That was a gorgeous dunk. I like dunks like that. You're just not going to guard me? Oh, I lagged. Really? Yep. Come on, bro. And that's when we finished with hour two and my headset dies. Didn't lose once. I had a few close games, but I didn't lose a single time. I won every single one of my games. So my headset dying was going to be a really, really big problem because the headset takes about two and a half hours to fully charge. So I was thinking this could be my floor to not getting as many wins as I actually can. But as I'm doing this voiceover right now, I realized I have an old Oculus Quest 2 that has been gathering dust for the past few months. So what I'm going to do is after my headset fully charges, I'm going to put this one on charge and then I'm just going to keep switching out and switching out, which gives me more playing time and more wins. So now that the headset has finished charging, let's move on to our sixth hour. At the sixth hour, it was 6 a.m. So this is when everyone in my house started to wake up. 
Oh, hi. In the sixth hour, honestly, I felt really, really good. But not just good, I felt like I was actually improving on my skills. I was making more shots, and not only more shots, I was making more three-point shots. Sometimes I would just throw the ball, or if I was wide open, I'd shoot it, and I'd actually make it, which, if I did that yesterday, I wouldn't have made it. One thing I did notice was my legs started to kind of feel fatigue from bending. Because I'm using physical jump, I'm constantly bending my knees up and down, so my quads kind of feel a little bit tired, but other than that, I feel really 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 good <laughs> ah, that was a clean block jumped with me as well I don't know his name Cheesy dunks. There we go. Okay, the threes are coming back. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a demon. I'm a gremlin. Ugh. Give me. This is at the seventh hour. I decided to change lobbies because I got beat for the first time. Okay, so I just checked. We are officially on 22 wins. And let me check what the time is. We are seven hours in, 22 wins. So I changed lobbies to a Discord lobby and I was just going ham. Oh yeah, come on. <clears throat> Nobody was beating me. I was getting so many three point shots. I was going against giants, fast people, and it was just insane. So far, I haven't checked, but if I was to guess, I think I'm on 30 wins at the moment. But honestly, I don't even feel tired. I feel amazing. My wrists don't hurt at all. That was the one concern I thought I would have. Since I'm always flicking my wrist, I thought eventually the joints will start to hurt or feel a little bit tired. But right now, I'm moving my wrist and it feels perfectly fine. I've even started to get a little more comfortable with the way I play. I've started playing these games my way. I know I did say I was playing at my own pace, but I was playing at my own pace back then. But now I feel like everything it just feels easy so i play my way so hopefully from here forward it carries on like this because i really don't want to get tired i'm hoping i don't injure myself at all now that the vr that i had is dead my other vr that i was talking about is now fully charged so we're gonna go right into the eighth hour As I went on to the 8th hour, I was looking for lobbies to join and I realized most lobbies were really, really small. Like there wasn't many people online and I think that's just because of the time zone and stuff like that. Most people in America aren't really on at that time and most people from England are either in school or still asleep. So this is another problem I thought that I would have. I didn't think it would be this bad though. I did get to have a few solo games until I realized no one else was joining. As soon as I left to go to another 1v1 court, there was zero 1v1 courts to play and of course there was 1v1 
course I could play with people in them but they weren't wins lobbies or discord lobbies like this challenge is supposed to be so I didn't go and play pubs like I could have so I decided to play with the friends and play some 2v2 games which is in the rules I'm allowed to play any 2v2s 3v3s and of course 1v1s of course me and my friend played until more people just was not joining us at all and then I left to check again and all the twos lobbies were completely empty. So I've decided I'm going to take a few hours break. I know this is going to ruin the record a little bit. But I have to. Just so I can wait for people to either wake up. Or different people from different time zones to get onto the game. And then I can get back to beating more people. And break this record. I didn't get any of it on record. Right now you're seeing old footage of other stuff. And that's because I was on my old VR. Which does not have a working mic for some reason. But other than that. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Now I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect this break to be this long. Like I would constantly just keep going. And keep trying to play the game. But no servers were open at all but then i think at about 2 p.m one server finally finally opened up so with 10 hours left this is when things started to really hit i became so so tired my knees and feet like hit so so bad like right now i don't know if you can hear how i sound I'm not as energetic as I was last time because I'm so tired right now. One thing I will say is I'm starting to miss most of my shots. I'm starting to kind of play a little, little slow just because I'm so, so tired. And unfortunately, I can't keep hopping off and on because my other Oculus just decided to stop working fully. So honestly, I think this next one is going to be my last and final play session with six hours to go. Hey, Editor Almina here. I just want to say I can not see why it does seem weird that I have six hours left, but I'm only doing one more play session. Let me just explain this really quick. At this point, my headset has just died, so I have to wait an additional two and a half hours for it to fully charge again. Then when it's fully charged, it takes about three hours for the battery to go down completely. So then we've done, so that is five and a half hours. So, yeah, just thought I'd put that up there. And that leaves us with our final result of 50 wins in a day. Now, I'm not going to lie. This does seem really, really low. To be honest, I thought I was going to get in the 100 wins. But trust me, playing this for 24 hours straight and playing against good people because you're in wins and Discord lobbies is not easy at all. You're playing full 10 minute games. You're not getting any easy wins at all. You become tired, lose your shot. Your feet start to hit, your legs start to hit, and the pace kind of slows down. Some people, I'm not gonna lie, have beat me today. I think like at least five people or three people have beat me today. So some people expect me to be better than I actually am. But I've been playing for 24 hours straight. Like, oh, I don't know how I have this energy at 24 hours, but it's just insane. Honestly, I know it does seem low. I thought I would have so much more. But if you think it's low and you think you can do better, make a video on it. Copy all the rules that I said. And of course, there needs to be proof by the end of it. Because I played 24 hours straight. And of course, I'm not a bad player. I win most of my games, which I did. I lost about five today. So saying that just shows how hard this challenge actually is one thing i will say that one thing i will will say though is my three-point shot was clean today it was clean so all i have to say is i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you like and subscribe all my socials will be in the description down below i'm gonna go shower and i'm gonna sleep for the next eight days straight peace just before i actually do go i want to say if anyone actually does legit beat this record all i'm gonna say is good for you because i'm not doing this again this is hell oh my god like i'm so tired